in the control room. Benimaru completed the explanation of the situation. He's truly a malevolent character. This is becoming a serious issue. Isolating him was the right call, wasn't it? Indeed, it was. I considered reactivating the labyrinth, but I'm concerned it might still be lurking somewhere. But can you handle this evil dragon spawn? This question cut to the core of the matter. The Nimaru, too, shared concerns about it. Despite his efforts to treat Diablo kindly, he believed dealing with the four great dragon kings and Hakuru would be impossible. I'll have to confront it myself. On the large display, Hakuru skillfully battled the evil dragon spawn. His impressive swordsmanship ranked among the best, but regrettably, it proved insufficient to vanquish the formidable foe. Despite the evil dragon spawn losing the infinite regeneration ability upon severing its connection with Vega, it still possessed ultra speed regeneration, allowing it to repeatedly revive. Nevertheless, Hakuru possessed extraordinary skill, capable of defeating opponents with a power difference of more than 50 times. The Nimaru felt a sense of pride in his master's abilities. However, it was evident that Hakuru alone couldn't overcome the challenge. The question now arose, how would the four great dragon kings fare against it? Heroes, the Flame Hell Dragon King, attempted to bind the evil dragon spawn with a searing whip, but despite sacrifices, the creature proved resilient. Zephyrus, the Ice Hell Dragon King, and Nodos, the Heavenly Thunder Dragon King, suffered in their attempts to assist. Boreas, the Earth-Breaking Dragon King, shielded his fallen comrades. Despite commendable efforts, including those of Hakuru, the group struggled to permanently stop the evil dragon spawn. The original plan was more viable, but now they lacked the force needed to prevent the creature's revival by destroying its cell fragments. As Benimaru suggested, someone needed to undertake the rescue mission. If it were Benimaru, victory was almost certain. Mr. Deputy Commander, your crucial mission is to retrieve Zijin and the individuals stranded in the isolation level. Timing was crucial. They needed to act swiftly both in defeating the evil dragon spawn and during the isolation phase. If Benimaru wasn't up to the task, there were few warriors left. In the midst of this, Beretta took a step forward. Well, then, it looks like I'll be the one heading out. No way. Without Beretta-chan's assistance, I can't handle the labyrinth on my own. Finally, it seems to be my turn. Cherry's Chan, I understand. As Veldora Sama's assistant, I believe I can entrust you with this significant role. The Nimaru acknowledged Cherry's power and nodded, confident that he could defeat the evil dragon spawn. With Benimaru's approval, there was no opposition. Cherry's, almost forgotten, was now ready to make an impact. In the control room, after Cherry's left. By the way, what's Cherry's Chan's existence value? Well, it's currently 2.74 million. Although the number alone was less than that of the evil dragon spawn, it still represented formidable strength, comparable to top-level players. Did you send them out without knowing, Ramiris Sama? You're too concerned, sub-commander. I assure you, Cherries is my master's assistant. He's a formidable fighter. There's no way he'll lose. Cherries opens the battlefield door and witnesses Hakuru's fierce battle. Hakuru deflects the evil dragon spawn's fist with his sword. Impressive, Cherries commends. However, he realizes it's not enough to defeat the evil dragon spawn. Zephyrus, Nodos, and Boreas make way for Cherries near the door. Heroes, on her way to Cherries, blushes and bows, expressing admiration. Ignoring her, Cherries, honed by Veldora's training, joins Hakuru. Hakuru Dono, let's take turns. Ah, Cherries, I see. I suppose my turn is done. You've done well. Your heroism will be remembered for generations to come. Ho ho ho. Flattery suits you well. I was trained by Veldora Sama. Hakuru steps back, sensing a change in the situation. Do you need assistance? No, I can handle it. Ho ho ho. Best of luck to you. Leave it to me. I promise victory. After this exchange, Hakuru and Euros head to the door where the dragon lords await. Cherries faces the evil dragon spawn, who dominates in power. Yet, in terms of combat skill, the outcome remains uncertain. He claims time is short. I wanted to gauge their abilities, but let's end this swiftly. Cherries declares, and the evil dragon spawn, unaware of the words, attacks. Cherries lightly kicks it. The evil dragon spawn reacts with pain and surprise. Unperturbed, Cherries charges. Veldora style killing arts burning bullets. Cherries unleashes invisible, high speed punches, turning air into bullets that strike the evil dragon spawn successively. The creature screams, but Cherries pays no heed. While it hovers, Cherries draws a magic circle on the ground. Let's finish it with an old-fashioned technique, Dragonic Flare. As the evil dragon spawn falls into the dome, Cherries completes a refined version of Ifrit's Flare Circle. It surpasses Benimaru's Hell Flare as one of the most powerful fire thermal techniques. The evil dragon spawn meets its demise with a soul-piercing scream, 
and Cherries emerges victorious, preventing any chance of resurrection. Excellent. No, no. This is precisely why I was left behind, isn't it? It's only natural for you to triumph. Cherries responds with a smile, but secretly contemplates something else. Feldor Asama definitely forgot about me, didn't he? Well, I understand that I was happy to be relied on by Rimuru-sama, but I wished you had taken me too. Still harboring bitterness about being left behind by Veldora, Cherries would have sulked if he couldn't contribute this time. Unaware of this, the Dragon Lords are deeply impressed by Cherries' bravery. Amazing. Cherries-sama is the best. He's quite the handsome man. Euros, a self-proclaimed fan of Cherries, praises him emotionally with flushed cheeks, embodying a dreamy maiden despite her stern exterior. Damn, we're not quite there yet, are we? It can't be helped, we need more experience now. We can't afford to lose. Even if we can't become leaders like Zijin Dono, as dragon lords protecting the lowest level, we must grow stronger. Boreas, Nodos, and Zephyrus express their thoughts in succession. Fueled by frustration, the four dragon lords become more motivated on this day. Consequently, the labyrinth's difficulty level will rise even higher, but that remains a challenge for the future. I'd like to give a big shout out to my top Patreon supporters, Carl Stefan Bernadel, Big Boy J, Cheese Bean, Kevin Matthew, Davon, Carito, Jason Torres, and Edward Bailstream. I also want to acknowledge our top commenter of the week. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll be back with more content soon, so make sure to hit that subscribe button.